Good evening, guys. How you all doing? Hey, Jampot. How's it going? And Goosey, I, I see that you're watching. <laughs> hey, boys, day. How's everybody going? How's the um, music levels, by the way? I've been fiddling about with them yet again. Yeah, he never watches my streams. Never watches my streams. Go message him and tell him to go watch. No, no, um, same camera as always. So I've got my DSLR and then standard webcam it's because I've the desk has moved along that way so we've, I've moved that way a bit so I guess the, there's a light light literally just here so I think I'm just a bit more underneath it than I was before so giving me a little bit better light making me look a little bit crispier so um, Giving, a, giving everybody a few minutes to come in if they're uh, wanting to watch. So, what we've got today is this is my personal build, um, and so this build is the uh, Borsal, uh, and it's based on the actual board itself is based on an ISO AK layout uh, specifically for the uh, little uh, ISO enter that you get with the AK, um, and uh, so this board is based around that entirely um, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was made for the keycap set so um, you'll see from the plate and the um, how, how big the cut out is and everything like that um, that it, it was um, but let's get that over here so I got this package earlier this earlier this week and you'll notice that there is a note in it a very kind note a very loving note uh, from Sam and uh, I'll hold it up so uh, you can see the uh, the lovely uh, bit that he's written there yeah yeah if you look at the webcam you'll notice there's something else there bastard <laughs> uh, hey Mary advice guy I'm very good very good how you doing so um, Gooty uh, managed to get one of these uh, pre-group buy it's it was sort of between the founders edition and the actual group buy itself um, he managed to get one of these directly from Salvin um, and uh, unfortunately decided that he didn't want to keep it after he um, after he bought it so I happily uh, took it off him because I had some switches and uh, and I was more than happy to take this because I I, I, kn I knew of somebody who had a uh, Japanese uh, AK Andy and he had that and I knew somebody who had the, um, the modifier switches that I needed so uh, I decided to get this off of um, get this off of Sam um, yes yeah, as Sam says because he was skint and he loves me uh, but yeah no I'm glad that he decided to uh, he'll obviously be able to use this whenever he wants um, as it's I would consider this mine and his board really so um, but what Sam did was Sam had also got a couple, uh, a little keycap uh, made by Salvin as well. So let's. Th this is what you would get in a, in the box. So you get a little uh, sort of business card with all of Salvin's details. I won't. It was a bit blurred, so I won't show it off too much. Uh, you get a couple of stickers, and I think this is a like a fridge magnet. So with Salvin's logo on there, which is quite nice. So I'm gonna put those to the side. Um, but what Sam also got was Sam got one of these, um, one of the little metal keycaps that Salvin makes. So this is the little metal keycap, just a little all metal keycap. Uh, really nice. Uh, it's it's got a very similar finish to the um, uh, to a Norbauer. If anybody's ever tried a Norbauer out before, I know Sam has because he's got his own. Um, but a very very nice finish to it it's quite cold actually so um, it'd be nice to uh, be nice during the summer just to see your finger on that 
yeah, the, as Sam says, the anodization, anodized finish on it is excellent. Um, I had a really good look at it and there's no sort of um, anodization marks or you sometimes get lines on it and there's nothing like that on there. It's just a perfect finish all the way across. Um, don't worry, you're too poor um, for him really to rob you. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, I'm just saying your name. I see. So, okay, so when you get the uh, when you get your balls chalk, you get it in two parts. So we've got the top piece here. So I'm going to set the top piece over here, uh, and you get the bottom piece. And the bottom piece uh, for mine has got the uh, PCB wrapped into it. So the PCB that um, is being used on this, but won't likely, I assume that, but won't likely be used on the actual um, proper version. Uh, is the Cyclops PCB. So, uh, a little baggie of all of the parts. So, I'll put them over there for now. Um, let's just like grab this a little bit. So, this is the Cyclops PCB, as you can see. It's got the Cyclops from the X Pen on there. Nice PCB, though. Uh, really nice PCB. Um, it does does look to have been, I, I, I would assume that it's hand soldered by the way that all, all of the pins on the um, on here on perfectly lined up but they're good enough so uh, I have I have obviously opened up this package before which I got to see the note um, but I opened it up just to make sure that the PCB was all all okay I tested it Sam had tested it before this anyway um, so yeah it was work it worked quite nicely so um, I'm gonna put that over here for now out of Sam's note I'm just gonna have a quick look at all of the parts so this is the actual bottom piece, and so it's got a uh, almost not a textured finish, beautiful anodized finish, but it's got like a like a shimmery sort of shiny finish. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like sand, like a sandy finish. Yeah, cerakoted. It's a cerakoted finish, but it's got like almost like a sandy effect to it. Um, a really, really lovely finish to it. But this is what, if you were to buy a Borsdorf, you would most likely get the colour option of this uh, in there. Obviously, um, compared to Jay's, I don't have the Flanders edition or Effie or whatever it is uh, written on the board. Um, I've just got uh, a standard looking one. But it's nice, solid piece. I've been tapping my ring against it. Um, yeah, really nice and solid. Uh, Savon's done a really good job on um, the, the milling of this and the um, PCB milling and um, PCB milling the um, the slot for the USB really nicely done. Uh, Sam says, um, "Oh, Jay did the SMD work." Okay, so that, that explains it a little bit. Um, it did look like it was hand done. It didn't look like it'd been done by a machine. I mean, my, mine's some um, my sort of my um, SMD soldering is not that much better than that. So. SMD soldering is tough. So, brings me on to the, the second package that I got. You can see that it was originally for Sam. I took my um, my label off of there. So in here, um, I opened it up the other day. We had a nice little top plaque and Jay uh, Jay's business card, Brian and Jay. Um, and I will point that out later because uh, he is going to be streaming later this evening. So. Uh, but what we got is a uh, plate uh, that was from the Satanicus and uh, Jay's group buy. But this was for a nice carbon fiber fixed plate. Rather nice. So uh, it's got a nice bit of rigidity to it. Um, I, I uh, dry fitted everything last night and all of the switches fit nicely. Um, made sure all of the stabs fitted, everything like that. Pretty happy with that, so um, yeah, uh, nice, nice addition. It's going to be my first time using carbon fiber, so I'm interested to see actually how it sounds um, after it's fully built with carbon fiber. But having a little type on it, pretty similar to brass, just a little bit more give to it. That, that's all I really found. So what we'll do is we're going to put that over there. We can get rid of the box now. Go in the other bits. So what we're going to do. I don't need the top housing. Let's get the PCB. PCB here. So what we 
using for this build is some NOS uh, SKCO yellows. And when I mean these are uh, NOS, um, I mean, if I can, it's kind of difficult to show you guys, but you can, I don't know if you can see that. These have never been soldered. These are brand new. Uh, these have not come from a board beforehand and they are extremely smooth. Um, and so what I've done is I've taken them apart uh, and I've given them a light lubing with some uh, dry lube, mock off dry lube, um, just uh, sort of bag lube the stems. And then I've lightly coated the rails on the, um, uh, on the top housing. Uh, the only thing that I don't have just yet is I. The only problem with these switches is that they are noise. The, the springs inside them are really noisy, and they make a horrid creaking sound. So I've got some sprit 65 centinewton springs coming, and I can swap these out afterwards because they're, they're actually quite easy to open once they're in the PCB, uh, once they're in the um, uh, plate. So these are the switches. Um, they're really beautiful, um, really really smooth. Um, and in here there is right sitting right at the top actually we are going to be going with a nice lock switch so this is uh, this is off of the uh, AEK that I had so I did just desoldered this last night and you can see it's it's got the pins that are a bit sort of um, got a bit of solder still on there so so what we're going to do is we are going to put this together bit by bit um, obviously I can put the stabs into this after we've started started putting the switches in um, I don't have to do it like we do with cherry stabs we have to put them in before um, but yeah let's just catch up with chat so um, uh, 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 chronoman says uh, what's your favorite stabs to use uh, for this you can only use um, the what is it co-star out stabilizers um, they do it the plate doesn't support what would be cherry stabilizers neither does the geek apps um, but normally for, for any normal build um, I, I use what do I use I use uh, the GMK screw and stabs uh, they're, they're really nice or if I can push out to it uh, the zeal ones and I soon got some of the uh, C3 um, uh, ones coming, which, which I'm looking forward to trying. But they're going to come along when the polycarb um, board that I've ordered was in. So, um, once it's top mounted, the sound and flex will change. Yeah, I, well, well, after putting some of the switches in and placing it against it, the, the sound of the switch has changed. So, um, I could hear the slider moving ever so slightly. Uh, when I, as soon as I put them in there, it completely changed. I couldn't, I couldn't hear them whatsoever. Um, yeah, you're, you're right there, Sam. Um, that um, GMK screws. I mean, GMK screws are the, the, the um, they're really good. Um, they're cheap. They're not that expensive either, um, and they're uh, ten times better than the. Um, most um, uh, most orders from like Taobao or anything off of eBay, uh, but I mean you can go with normal cherry cherry stabilizers as well. Cherry stabilizers are decent, uh, but you just got to make sure that you clip them, lube them, and I, I do um, hockey tech modding, so I'm, I will be hockey tech modding this as well, um, uh, which really helps with the sound that you get from them. Uh, yeah, as, as Sam says again, uh, or Everglides. Um, I haven't actually used any of any of the Everglide stabilizers, but um, everybody tells me that the same as um, same as Zeal ones. And hello again, Jampop. How you doing? And uh, runs. Uh, oh, I'd like to say thank uh, runs. Uh, followed the uh, channel uh, a couple of hours ago. So uh, was the talk about uh, retool GMK stabs being scratchy? Uh, wasn't the new C3s better? So the newest GMK ones, they are, uh, not, it's either the GMK or the Cherry ones, they are actually quite scratchy. Um, and that's just down to, I believe that's down to the molds that they're using. Uh, and the only thing that we've been able to see for the C3 ones is he did a, uh, a typing test using them and they do sound better. Uh, it's, it's whether they actually feel better as well. 
um, but we don't know that as of yet. But I should have I should have three or four sets coming with my board, so um, I'm going to give them a try. Um, I've got uh, a hot swap, uh, hot swap, two hot swap TKL PCBs hopefully coming with that board now. So I, I'm going to be able to swap them out, change it, um, and I'll probably do a couple of videos on the difference between GMK, Zeal, and uh, the C3 uh, stabs. But let's carry on with it. Uh, carry on with this build for now. So let's get the PCB, and we are just going to place it over the top of this. And so we're just going to get a couple of the switches put into place. Uh, going to do the corner ones first. to actually um, get my hands on some of these stabs as well uh, ones because um, from everything that we've heard so far they do sound better than cherry um, it I'm debating whether they are actually better than uh, uh, zeal ones because zeal, zeal stabs are excellent um, I try and use them on any any build where I possibly can I mean they're in uh, which ones are they in they're in this one here this one here and this one here so uh, and they're gonna be in the polycarb and they're gonna be in another board they, they, I might have some for the satisfaction 75 as well when that gets it oh, I'm putting the lock switch in there first Solder these down so that they're held in place. And then after we've soldered these few down, um, I'll go around the board and um, sort all this out. Uh, zeal stabs are so expensive, um, and Gucci then comes back with uh, zeal. Everything is so expensive. Yeah, but at the same time, he does make very good products. Um, I mean, if you want, if you want to get stuff that's um, very similar, then just go for the uh, Everglide stuff. Um, I, I mean, I, I don't uh, particularly condone um, coffee going with coffees and fakes and stuff, but uh, their stuff is very, very similar to his. So. Turn the music down slightly. Oh yeah, of course, of course. I'll do it on here. How about that? How does that sound? Let me know if that's too much now. Um, but 
obviously uh, Zilia V2 stems and Koala stems are currently my favourite switches. Yeah, I mean, um, on the the board there has Zilia V2s and that has Cheerio V1s in it. Uh, I'm a big fan of his stuff. Um, the board that Sam's going to be getting from me has got um, his Tilios in it. Goodwill trade. Thank you because I love them very much. So, uh, having a look quickly, I'll have a look. So, I think um, currently for the Borsdorf itself. Um, if you go into this in a bit more detail, um, it's a uh, it's currently not in group buy. Um, it's going to be the group buy for this is going to be starting, I believe, beginning of next year. Um, it was originally going to be uh, December, I believe, uh, and they've pushed it back from there to the beginning of next year, so that um, people have a little bit more time to be able to save up for it. Um, and it's going to be run on. Uh, it's currently being run by I believe it's um, Darth, what the fuck, and um, uh, Salvin, uh, and it's being run through MightyBoards.eu. Um, so obviously, the price will vary um, based upon the finish you decide to go for. But um, uh, Sam, can you can you remember how much I paid paid you for this? I paid you. I, I think I'm, I paid the uh, the price that you paid though. Yeah, Sierra is working on a better PCB. Funny enough, she was waiting for the um, uh, the diodes which she bought in my cowboy group buy um, to be able to make the PCB for, for this. So uh, it was slightly my fault why there was a hold up on that. So well, I say my fault, Taobao's fault. Yeah, okay, so um, yeah, I, in case the uh, group buy pricing is more or less. Um, yeah, I mean, it was very affordable. Um, I, I mean, you could, uh, for the price that I paid for this, you could get quite a nice board from KBD fans for the same price. Um, and I assume that they're trying to keep it at about the same price. Um, So, um, if there is anybody out there who's got some um, up switches and uh, has a or has a spare AEK sitting around, uh, and you want something to do with it, then um, yeah, come into one of these. Uh, I've uh, I've used Andy's AEK. Um, that thing was pretty gross um, in the end. Um, so I've actually uh, given all of the keycaps a. Uh, a wash in um, uh, some denture cleaning uh, tablets and uh, a dense, sorry, a denture cleaning tablet mix, and uh, I've also retro brightened the space bar uh, back to the original colour it was. Uh, originally, it was a, uh, a lovely shade, not a far off shade of um, the yellow that's in these SKCLs. Um, it was pretty gross, um, but I've managed to retro bright it all the way back to. Um, Oh, very, very almost um, original color. There is a, a tiny difference. 
but you have to be in person, Re really be in person to be able to see it, so. Um, but I, I have the uh, old AEK PCB uh, case and everything uh, sat, um, where is it? It's sat in the drawer down here, actually. Um, but uh, that thing's gonna need a real clean because there is actually some dead bugs in there, so. Um, dead Japanese bugs. Uh, Run says I have two AKs, uh, uh, but they are quirks, and I have, uh, sorry, and I have uh, always been using QWERTY, so might see if I can find some cash to replace the replacements. So yeah, I mean, um, if you have uh, if you have a quirks board, I might need to ask a favour. Um, you'll see later in the stream my predicament. Um, I have uh, ISO. Um, QWERTY uh, UK layout uh, modifier caps and for some reason the the actual legends on them are thinner than the original legends uh, which is a real pain in the ass um, and I've noticed across most boards that they don't have them so I might have to uh, slide into your DMs to see if um, see if you'd be willing to sell one of them or sell some of the keycaps it's not a huge Huge um, difference, but uh, yeah. But I would like it. Yeah, this is a bit of an end gamey sort of board, so I would like it to match really. Yeah, some people sell the individual caps. I've seen um, people selling the individual caps for like one pound fifty each or something like that, which is a bit high, um, especially if you're going to be selling them for me. I mean, something more like ten p a cap. This is actually a, a very simple board to actually put together, surprisingly. Um, I normally, uh, I'm normally having a little faddle about with um, other bits uh, before even putting the switches into the board. So, um, so if you did notice on on the actual uh, plate itself, um, there's lots of slots for um, uh, stabilizers. So. Keys that are stabilised on a uh, one of these boards uh, and the plate are the backslash, obviously, um, backspace, the uh, enter, the uh, the two U right shift, the space bar, the caps lock, and the tab key. And the space bar also gets a uh, an additional little piece uh, that goes into the uh, into the plate as well. So let's just make sure these are all lined up nicely and all pushed through correctly. These are all looking good to me at the moment. So I'm just making sure that they're all pushed through. I don't want to put the keycaps on and find a wonky one.
So, uh, going on with the conversation earlier, uh, I looked into it, couldn't find uh, any Nord. Um, so I was thinking maybe just replacing the Y and the Z and keeping the rest of the layout the same. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the only, I'll show you the downside of going for like an ISO QWERTY UK uh, key caps um, in a minute. Um, but you'll, ha you'll have the same issue, I think. But I think the Nord caps are like the legends are slightly wider, slightly thicker uh, than compared to the ISO UK ones. Um, uh, Sam says, so how, uh, how do you open your Alps? Switches then toothpick technique or tweezers? So I opened mine, uh, I've got a pair of So I have a pair of tweezers um, like this. It's going to focus. I've got some flat tweezers. And so, what I actually do is you can do it quite easily with SKCLs because SKCLs they've got a little um, they've got a little tab. I don't know if I can get it close enough. There's a little LED slot, uh, which means that you can actually I actually find that I can get my nail under there. So you put the tweezers behind, down the back. And then I normally just press it against the desk a little bit, and that's enough just to um, to force them apart. And so, sorry, there's a bit of lube on the stem, so it's not allowing me to pick it up. So you then get it into two pieces. So you've actually got the uh, the sort of the leaf and everything like that. And in the bottom side, you should have the spring and the bottom housing. And so from there. The, uh, push the stem out. So you've then got the uh, the normal stem. So that's the stem. So I normally just throw these into a bag um, and give them a, a quick spin. But what you should be left with is the little legs stuck inside the top housing. I just grab them, pull them out, and then you've got the uh, the sort of the leaf and everything. The reason that it comes out so easily is because they've never been soldered. So any normal out, you'll find that it gets stuck in the bottom housing. Um, and so put these back in, just, put, just push them back into the bottom housing. You're all good from there really. And then what you've got is you've got your top housing. So this is your top housing. And so, oh come on, stay focused. So on the top housing, you've got a rail here and a rail here on the other side. I don't know if you can see very well, the rails here and here. So I just add a, a brush of lube um, on either side and it keeps them nice and smooth. And then just put them back together. Just get the stem. You've got to make sure that the little notch, there's a little notch in the stem. You can see the little notch there in the middle of the stem. Make sure that's pointing towards the back. Drop it in, get your spring, drop it into the stem. And then you can just slot them back together. And pop, you've then got SKCL switch. Uh, the earlier ISO UK ones, the salmon's not tacked, so I was hoping it was slightly thicker legends, uh, or at least clearer and darker. Okay, I might have to try and look out for one of those, because I mean, uh, I've got the keycaps here, so uh, let me just find it. So this is a good example. you can see the difference between the legends here so on the right is the uh, ISO and on the left is the Japanese uh, legends so you can see how much thinner they are in comparison um, I have another one here as well so you can see see how much thinner they are so I'm going to try and have a look around, um, I mean I'm in no rush, um, I've got the caps that I need to actually use the board so I'm happy. So um, so the only bit that I'm going to try and put in, uh, actually no I don't even need to put that in now, uh, I've got enough space. So all of the switches are in nicely, so let's just turn her over and let's give it a quick solder. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to try and find something, uh, find another set um, to sort of cannibalise the uh, 
these that I need off of it. I've got the main ones. Uh, it's just sort of, uh, it's only what, four or five actual caps that I need. The bottom row doesn't change. It's just the um, uh, left shift caps tab. The, the key that's on the top left hand corner, I don't even know what it is. Um, the, uh, the backspace and the enter. They're the only keys that I actually need to get other ones for, so. I mean, there's a lot of um, uh, UK ISO, AUK floating about, so I'm sure I'll be able to get one eventually. Having a little bit of solder to each of these and uh, getting them properly held down. I'd much prefer to have the thicker ones because they uh, at least then they match they match the uh, look of the uh, the Japanese uh, legends uh, and the reason that I went for the Japanese legends is you can't I mean you've got the uh, the normal letters and everything like that but then you've got the Japanese sub legend so you, it sort of hides the uh, hides the fact that it's not ISO UK uh, proper ISO UK the only downside to it is, is that obviously the Japanese um, uh, ones they came they came with anti boards, uh, so you're missing the uh, the what would be the backslash key and the uh, uh, the UK at key. Uh, sorry, not the UK at key, the UK uh, hash key. Um, so they're the only ones that you're missing, unfortunately. Um, so it does make it a little bit funny. I've seen quite a few um, uh, ISO UK layout ones on eBay. Um, they pop up every now and again. So, and I mean, I, I, unfortunately, I sold an ISO UK one that actually had the uh, the right caps on it, um, the right uh, size caps. I had, I went back and had a look, but I had proper box case. Uh, the original AEK box for it and everything like that, and so I was never going to ever cannibalize it for the um, for the uh, caps. I need to find one that's that's probably in a bit of a gross gross look, so I can clean it up uh, and just take the um, switches and the, ca uh, the caps off of it. So if you're going to be buying a board store, what um, what switches are you going to be putting into it then, Jampot? I mean, they do have to be end game level switches. Or have you jumped onto that uh, SKTM white uh, group buy that the guy was doing? There's a bunch of people that managed to get into that, uh, that group by so I believe they're not whites as well. So if you're anybody in the chat, um, 
Have you got any interesting boards coming up, even if you're if you if you happen to be lurking at the moment? What interesting boards have you got to build coming up? Or coming up that you've got to looking forward to? Are you buying or in a, uh, maybe in a couple of weeks' time? I'm going to have a, um, a Satisfaction Seventy Five here, so I'm going to be building that on stream. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, gas inks on that. Also going to be using the GMK demonic that I've got sat behind me somewhere. Some absolute noob who who uh, undervalued it. No, those Tilios are really nice as well. Noobs, seventy-two gram Tilios with switch film as well. Very smooth, very smooth. Just I sold the uh, I sold the uh, Norvair case that was going with it, so. point on this PCB. I'm putting together a bit. Stream lagging a bit for me. Uh, I mean it shouldn't be. I'm, I've got uh, normal kilobits upload so uh, nothing is showing to be anything wrong with it so it might well be your end. case actually also might try and get the next prototype of the prism soon uh, want a thicker uh, want to use a thicker plastic uh, get it cut out 100% correct and change the uh, change the location of some of the nuts and bolts oh very nice you're going to be showing that off at the next meetup John today and going to Ikea as well. I'm going to collect some more of the Alex, Alex drawers for this office. Actually found a, uh, uh, an Ikea gift card uh, in one of the drawers earlier. So. Um, and, I hope, uh, and I hope I can get the SP111 Soft spot, uh, soft spot for split boards. Oh, I haven't seen the. Um, I haven't seen. This. Have you got a? You can. I think you can link in the chat. I think. I think so. Try, try posting a link and see if you get banned. I'm pretty sure I. Um, I stopped the bot from last time. But if you want to post a link in the chat, I'll take a look at it. If um, if it if it does get flagged, don't worry. I've, I haven't got anything set to uh, actually ban you. <laughs> I 
you got timed out for one second. Okay, so it is auto. Uh, let me have a look. I'm just going to Google it. The Southpaw 111. Oh wow, that is beautiful. At least the, I'm assuming these are. Yeah, these are renders. They, they, one of the photos didn't look like a render there. Oh wow, that's lovely. That's a very VEA look looking. timed out for um, one second so uh, I'll, I'll try and uh, I, I got the bot to stop doing that last time and so Streamlabs labs I've got updated Streamlabs and it's probably put it back to um, back to the old bot again um, uh, Jampot says um, would you be able to do a sand test of the Nos Yellow rules at uh, close to the mic oh yeah of course um, and what do you think of the con conron Con one, Can, I'm saying, I assume that you're trying to say canoe. Um, you're asking me if I like the canoe. Con one, but yeah, sure, I can do a um, uh, uh, typing test. I'll do that at the end of the stream once it's finished and built. Uh, and I'll also be doing a uh, typing test of it, which will go on my YouTube channel um, afterwards. Anyway, um, I'll probably I'll probably film that some other afternoon at some point when it's uh, a bit lighter outside and I've got some nice light coming through. And I'm also going to get some nice photos for um, uh, for the um, Met Keys um, Met Keys um, my keyboard the EU um, board board channel. No, the con one. I've never heard of the con one before. All right, we're gonna have to have a look. Con one keyboard. Like kind of keyboards, I assume. Oh wow. Interesting looking board. It reminds me slightly of a spaceship. Like an alien spaceship, that is. You know, like the one from um, uh, Simpsons. No, there's no decent alien spaceship pictures for it for some reason. <laughs> but uh, why don't they have any decent alien spaceship pictures? You know that you know the 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 two aliens, the, their spaceship. That's what it reminds me of. TV says, uh, thank you for doing my switches. No problem, no problem. Have you actually got the switches through yet? Uh, Sugar 
uh, tomorrow, I think. Oh, cool, cool. No, no, no problem with doing the switches. Uh, I've been doing an awful lot of um, Holy Panda uh, variant switches recently. Uh, but they were really nice. For the, um, for the normal Holy Pandas, I'm having to um, uh, ultrasonically clean them before, um, before building them because the lube on the mash dot ones are that bad. I've actually done that to my own ones, I've done ultrasonically cleaned them. And I also ultrasonically cleaned the um, uh, creams which I'm going to be using in this uh, C3 polycarb build. Um, and it's making them feel really nice. Um, it's allowed me to break the switches in quite quickly and quite easily. Um, I'm actually using a half-built uh, Strox pad, which is, which is here, to break them in. So I'm using this half-built Strox pad, um, and just I, I've, um, I've been playing Brutescape quite a bit, and thieving is literally just pressing the same key over and over again. So I've been just doing that, um, and her levels are probably talking a few thousand presses, so. Um, being able to break in the switches bit by bit. two switches here now. And I'll just go across and make sure they're all alright. And then we've got the fun of putting the tabs in place. Just make sure that we've got all of the switches done. I have in the past accidentally left switches out. But this is looking all good. Looking good. Yep. All of the pins are done. So it's looking good for me. So that's the, the latent PCB so far. Turn the iron off. Um, I've got a connected sieve under the door from uh, my other half, so I think one second. She's saying hello. I'm surprised she's not watching the stream. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, do now is because they're all soldered in place, move the iron out of the way. It is, yes, yeah, the shit stack is just there, hidden away. So, what we've got here is, I've kept all of the, the stabs um, and wires together. Um, so, there's a couple of twos, so that one there is smaller, I believe, and this one here. So that, that's for the backspace and the shift. And then all of the others are for the, the others, the other um, caps there. Uh, so as I said before, the space bar has a little bit extra. So you've got this, this little extra piece uh, and that goes here on the board, just sits there. Uh, and it's just to help the um, space bar move up and down um, smoothly. So what we're going to do is for this, I've got some glue. So I'm going to be using dielectric grease, car lube specifically. 
and we're just going to put a bit of car lube uh, down the inside of it um, just to make sure that it runs nice and smoothly and it also reduces any friction sand that you might have there. Uh, Jinx says, uh, carbon fiber plate looking so nice. Uh, it is. I'm a fan of the look of carbon fiber. I'm not sure if I'm going to be uh, a fan of the sand or the feel of carbon fiber yet, as it's the first port that I've tried. So. Okay, so that's that's pushed in nicely. So that's just going to sit. That's just sitting there. You can see it there. I've got a little bit of lube in there and so what we're just going to do is in fact I'm going to I'm stepping too far forward now I'm going to put that back on top for now we are going to hockey tape model all of these uh, because unfortunately it does still make an absolute racket uh, when it bottoms uh, when you bottom them out so um, putting a bit of hockey tape underneath uh, reduces that um, horrid bottom out sound um, so I'm going to put it across a few of these here, uh, just so that I can get rid of it a little bit. I uh, don't need to put an awful lot down, but uh, you know. and this bottom out sand, you get it on pretty much all plates. It's not specific to this plate. Brass and any hard hard plates, um, you generally get the, the harsh bottom out in sand. Bottom it. So we'll just pick that up a little bit. So we're overlapping the, uh, the stabilizer hole itself. is literally just where the uh, the bottom of the stab hits it and so this is a standard thing pretty much nowadays that I do with all of my boards that I that I make for others or make myself is um, I will put a bit of this underneath the stabs to uh, just alleviate a little bit of that sound. And I mean, this the whole roll cost me about a pound fifty, so it's been a, a good investment. Now what I'll do is after I put them all down, I'll show you exactly how it looks. I mean, it's not the neatest and nicest looking thing in the world, but at the end of the day, you can't see it underneath the uh, uh, when the caps are on, so it makes no difference to me. Uh, but it does make a, quite a large difference to the sound, the sound profile. The only cap that I'm not going to put this underneath is the uh, stabilized cap that I'm going to put underneath is the cap swabs and that's because um, you're not hitting it that often for it to need to be like that as such.
So the only upgrade to this, as I said before, that's going to happen is that I'm waiting for the, um, the 65 centimeter gold sprit springs to turn up from um, uh, from the keyboard co in the UK, um, and they're going to be here probably next week because I've got. Um, but for some reason, they don't offer anything lower than 24 hours tracked shipping. Strangely, uh, when I went to go buy it, so it was only like three quid or something like that. Evening, Blenden. How you doing? So what we're just going to do is going to pop. So what the the way that these stabs are is you've got a little retaining clip. I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well. You can see a little clip that holds the wire in place, and then on the underside there's a uh, on the underside of the actual keycap there's like a little hook. I don't know if you can see that very well. So there's a little hook there. Um, and the, the wire literally just slots into that hook, pretty much. Uh, hi, Darth. Uh, so, um, Darth, who's in the chat, is one of the guys who's making uh, this, this board. Um, uh, hi, Darth, how are you doing? And so what you can do is you're just going to pop these out now. And we're going to put them in. Uh, I find putting it in with these tweezers the easiest way. And then just hooking it in. at least show them sh show the the process of putting it in and they're the designer himself it's going together quite quickly though so we've only been live for just a little over an hour and so i'm already at the point where all of the switches are uh, in we're just going to be putting the um, stabs on and everything like that. stream Darth uh, thank you very much for making this uh, you put my SKCL yellows to good use Go, hope the stream goes well. Uh, we'll watch the pod tomorrow. Yeah, uh, so 
see you soon, uh, Jampot. Uh, but he's come on to a nice point there. Um, if you put Francis in the star and you haven't been able to watch the whole stream so far, um, I do have a, this rule. This VOD will be going up on my YouTube channel afterwards. So, uh, uh, of the whole build, uh, the whole build stream. So, um, uh, you'll be able to catch up with what you've missed. So I've got the hockey tape under the MX stand uh, because it stops the slack. Uh, but here you have it on a plate that does. Uh, yes, it does. Um, I've actually found that um, for the ISO enter, it comes in contact, um, and I'm assuming that it, it's also coming in contact with here. Um, it might well be. For, so the reason that it might be coming in contact with the ISO enter is, if you look at the ISO enter, one end is higher than the other so you can see this back end uh, but when I was doing it I was finding that they were both slapping so um, Darth says uh, I've only built two and a half half build okay I mean is it only just like that side of the board that's built Assembled some internals for the prototype plate uh, and the leftover PCB in. Got some dampened creams which I undampened and then sent to him. Sent him, sent him the internals. I see how it's a half build now. Salmons, which are now in Eglin's ball sauce, and then my current one has FKCL. Man after my own heart, Sam. Man after my own heart. SKCL yellows and things. I hope they were also the moss ones. So we're nearly there now on where we can put the caps on. I'm going to put the um, some of the caps in place because I'm going to have to say that it's going to be easier before putting it into the case to be able to put some of the caps on because some of the caps like the ISO enter and the backslash and stuff like that you've got to put them in a, in a certain order otherwise they're a real, uh, real pain in the ass because of these uh, stabilizers. crevice where the um, wire goes um, just to silence it as much as possible. Brush. Only a tiny amount. Not so 
So you can see the hockey tape that I've put on there now. So you can just see where it's just overhanging where the um, stab wires go, just underneath there. So it should, I'm hoping that it's gonna combat it quite nicely. Um, at the very least combat that ISO enter. So, so let's put some of these stab wires in place. We're coming up to the most frustrating part of um, any Alps build, which is trying to get the wires and the stabs to sit together and work. The most frustrating part of any Alps build. And the exact same frustration with my, uh, the build there with uh, SKCM um, handle. So I'm going to also add a little bit of lube to the actual uh, sort of parts of the space bar as well. And from what I've been reading, this really does reduce the um, sand that uh, is output by these. So all I'm doing is, as you can see, just adding a little bit on either side of this, just the inside mainly. As well. It doesn't need to be a lot, um, don't need to drain it in it. And I'm also going to add a little bit to the post that's there. And I want to say thanks to Dar very much for making that post the other day um, uh, about keeping this post because I've actually, the little post that's here, I'd actually pulled that up and I'd thrown it in the bin on that day uh, that I decided to read that uh, in his message there. So I went rummaging through my uh, waste paper basket that's up there uh, to try and find the damn thing. Otherwise, I'd have been very unhappy. Okay, so the process of getting this in is horrid. I'm gonna hook it in. I always hated Alps of trying to do this. I think it might be easier to do this. Not fairly there. It might be easier to do this so that you just, I found, you know, it's popped the wire out on one side on the bottom, but that's fine. So you pop it back in and press. There we go. Sounds very good, I think. I'm unsure I'm using the right mic again and not the webcam one. Let me just double check that for you. It has done that once before. No, nope, it's using the Rode mic, so it's the one. Yeah, just above me, so. Yeah, Darth, so the, the only thing I've ever found is that all of the other stabilized keys will be completely fine. The ISO enter, not quite at all. It, it's rattly at top, the top end rather than the bottom end. Um, it's really weird. Um, let's get some of these stabilized keys out because I'm going to put the stabilized keys on first and then put the, um, the plate into place. Uh, there. 
Maybe it's just the, um, so, so I was saying before, uh, I'm using a mix of two different key cap sets. So this is the uh, the ISO key from an older set. Sam says it's an older set, and you can see the difference between, uh, probably find an easier one, there you go. You can see the difference in the legend there. Uh, the Japanese legend is much thicker compared to the, um, the ISO uh, one. Uh, can you show the back real quick? Oh, what are these? Yeah, so uh, I showed this off earlier, but the actual da -da -da -da, come on, the one of the stabs is higher than the other. You can see the top end is higher than the other. And I think that's possibly what's making the noise difference. Um, I'm assuming that's what your hunch is. Turn it 180. Like that? Um, what the one bit that I did have to clip was there was a little spur on the top of it. Oh, what? Turn the, the, the stabs 180. Isn't that the way that they're supposed to go in? I've, I've taken them out once before because I had some um, uh, spare stabs. Well, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and shave it down a little bit, see if that makes any difference. But the actual keycap itself, if you have a look at it from the side profile, it does get thinner towards the top. So I think that's why, why that's the case. So it actually sits flat. I'll give it a try afterwards. I'm gonna I'm gonna try a couple of things. I'm also gonna have a look for um, uh, a, a wider legend one as well. So uh, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the main thing I'm gonna look for. But um, I didn't lube them uh, when I dry fitted it, and that was the only bit that was making noise. And so I'm gonna try lubing it and see if that gets rid of the noise. It's obviously the only key that has stabilizers at two different heights. generations of dice up earlier caps have thinner and sharper legends and the best way to tell is the stems of the apple uh, command it is not solid or not yeah I mean um, so I've actually got um, I could probably show that off uh, where are the other caps I have the other caps here. So I've got the, I, I bought a set of um, all of the extras, so the Apple ones, so I've got the Ilk GR and the Apple, there you go. Ilk GR and the Apple, and let's just pop it in here, they're in here somewhere. So this is the difference between the two here as well. So the right hand one is the um, ISO and the left hand one is the um, Japanese one. In person, there's a definite difference in thickness. I don't know how easy it is to see, especially with the camera as it's sort of moving about, but one is definitely thinner than the other. You can see a bit better there. Um, but the on text it's the easiest to see so do I have the old 
obviously between the control and the alt there. They are obviously different sizes, but I'm going that way. So they obviously are different sizes, but you can see that the come on. I just you can see that the alt GR is so much thinner. The, the easiest one to tell is when I put it together, you'll see that the backslash key that goes here uh, is way, way, way thinner than the um, the other keys that are around it. So. So what I'm going to have to try and do is I'm just going to have to find some um, the ISO modifiers um, for the um, for, for this further down the line. But I was just too hyped to actually have the board here finally and be able to build it. But I couldn't uh, couldn't not. The ISO key is the last key that's got to go on the board. Yeah, I said last key that's got to go on the board. The last stabilised key that's got to go on the board. Yeah, don't you worry about that, Sam. Um, I'm going to be taking that. Well, I hope to take the top spot off of um, off of Andy. And I hope that uh, moderators of NKUK will help. some beautiful photos of this either way though I'm just going to drown this in leaves a little bit on the top side because it was relatively rattly in comparison to the others so hoping that drowning it in lube a little bit will get rid of the rattliness don't you worry about that Sam I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get a nice photo of it Yeah, that's perfect. So, if you can imagine the wire just rattling about. Yeah, I mean, um, earlier before, if, if, if you pressed it, it would sound, here you go. It's that sort of sound, it's horrid. But that sounds perfect to me. Perfection. So we're nearly at the end of the build now, guys. Oh, and the music has stopped. Let me just put the uh, music back on for you all. So what we're going to just do is we are going to move this back. And what are these tags? These take little hex heads.
and obviously um, I'll, I'm going to be doing a, I'll do a full typing test of this board um, afterwards. Uh, as I said, I'll probably do it tomorrow. Uh, I've got some Alex uh, drawers to be building this evening uh, for my uh, so for my for my computer sits here. You guys can just about see the computer is just here. Um, going to be sitting that on there. So I can get a bit of desk space. Oh, the half she's going to be sitting next to me just there. Got where the camera is currently. That's one bit too small. And also my humidor is there, and it's just sitting on the floor, uh, right next to the radiator, which you shouldn't do. So I'm uh, going to be sitting that on some Alex drawers as well, just to get it out of the uh, the real forest heat zone that it's in at the moment. Okay, that one's right. Okay, so dark. I'm gonna have to ask your advice here. So with the top piece, obviously um, it's gonna be going, I've gotta screw it into the top piece. Um, I'm assuming that the washers that I've been given are for putting in between the plate and the uh, plate in the case. Is that right or am I thinking this wrong? Or is it? I've got these little uh, thin washers uh, between the plate and case, uh, top case. Okay, that's perfect. Um, if I'm going to be a little fiddly, uh, so that's the way around. You're going to see a horrible, horrible bit of me attempting to put the drawers down. So, how many of these screws do we have? Put it down here like that, actually, for a second. How many we got? So I'm assuming that it's going to be using the littlest ones, the shortest ones, even. Uh, yeah, I've already got the uh, the hex key. Uh, they're a bit fiddly to install. I usually load them uh, on a thin bit and stick. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna try and do. Obviously, I think this is gonna be quite fiddly. Yep, I'm already dropping them everywhere. Uh, them like this glad that you're here uh, dark boy obviously sorry about uh, pestering you about buying one of these so often now that I've actually got one but obviously uh, when it comes to the photos I'm going to be taking a bunch of photos of this um, Putting them up on my Instagram, so you're more than willing to uh, use them for whatever you want. Um, I'll obviously post them into the uh, uh, the Boar's Door uh, channel. But uh, if you've got a website that you want to use them on, uh, you yourself are more than wor uh, welcome to use them wherever. Obviously, sell them as well. You don't normally get those sort of. Uh, you don't sort of get, normally get that offer from a, a photographer. So. them in there and then I can give you higher res versions as well if you want them. Yeah, what did I know that it was going to be the last one that was going to be a pain in the ass today? Oh, off. There we go. I am putting it in upside down here. 
in first. Um, also, there's at least one extra washer and a screw, uh, so don't panic. Um, if there was an extra washer, I don't have it here. Um, no extra washers, but I'm sure there's probably an extra screw there. But I've got a, I've got a bunch of um, extra screws anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. I've got some extra washers as well. I've got some. I've got a bunch of stuff in those little things there from past keyboard builds, and I've got these. I've got loads of little, little washers for for using with stabs and stuff. Definitely an extra screw. It's always a little bit more concerning when you're taking apart an iPhone and you need an extra screw that way. Oh, I'll ask you a couple of questions then while you're here. So, what, what was the inspiration? I like. What, why did you want to build a uh, uh, one of these uh, tiny ISO usable boards uh, specifically? Uh, I mean, the the AEK caps are lovely, but it's a uh, it is a strange layout. I say strange layout. It's uh, non-standard at the very least. are one of the few Alps caps with good availability in European layouts. Yeah, you're very right, actually. I never really thought of that. Um, yeah. Well, I got 80k caps of two, and I want to say, like, Instead of doing what any normal person would do, which is uh, just be like, "Oh, okay, I've got, I, I have an AEK, and I'll have that for the rest of my life," uh, you decided to go the full hog route, which was, uh, "I'm going to build a board for them." The AEK was dead. Oh, that's a shame. So you were just using it for the caps and the switches, I assume. Then.
plan was for Max's PCB uh, just to grab the aftermarket 68% case. Oh, I see. So what, like a Vermillo sort of um, Vermillo sized case, like a VA69M or something like that. a very beautiful board here so uh, you're not wrong and uh, you made something that looked better so Chrono uh, um, Man's jumped in and said um, uh, GMK screw and stabs in stock uh, the last place that I saw them in stock was um, uh, optic boards but I haven't seen them in stock for a little bit um, I don't know if people on the Met Market have some still. So I'm just uh, tightening these last few bits up. Okay, so that's the board with the caps and everything on. That is sounding much better than it was earlier. So let's get some of these caps on. So what I've done is I've actually got a picture of somebody else's. never remember this bottom bottom row there. C3 stamps aren't out yet at the moment. Um, really. Um, I think they're starting to ship now. Well, nobody's really tried the um, C3s, I don't think, so it's difficult to say if they are better or not really at the moment. It's all really just going to be speculation until people actually get, get hold of them. some I've got some GMK stabs in the thing back there for the measly price of just 30 pounds I'll just sell them to you
I'm looking forward to these 3 C stabilizers. Uh, I've got I've got a bunch of them coming because um, unfortunately the um, the polycarb board that I've bought um, the the polycarb 0 0.9 that he's um, that he's selling is um, being delayed because the um, the people making well, making the case uh, stopped replying to him and they've made a runner with his money. Um, so unfortunately, he's having to start the whole case process over again. But he's been very good about it, and so um, uh, he's sorting out new, um, uh, new manufacturer and stuff like that. So it's all a bit of a sort of a shitty situation, really. That it's a bit unfair for him because he's 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 been working really hard on that and uh, trying to give us updates as much as possible, but can't really do much about a uh, manufacturer going rogue and then making a run with your money. But I'm going to be in the running for the for it. So well, I say in the running. I've already bought one. Um, so I'm just going to have to wait till um, till that comes. But he's throwing in a bunch of stabs with it. So and I also bought some um, some stabs as well. You guys can't see the caps on this, but I can see how good this looks right now. I'm just going to tidy up a little bit, and then we'll uh, I'll show it off to you guys. It's looking, it does look stunning though. I definitely need to get the thicker, the thicker caps though, the thicker legend caps. But this doesn't look, uh, doesn't look quite as silly. So let's show you let's show you the finished board and what will be my picture for the board. So here we go. This is the finished board. So they're the Japanese sub legends. You can see the difference between the Japanese legends and the ISO modifiers. So I need to find the uh, the other ISO modifiers, the thicker ones. Or if somebody has some caps that they that they want to sell me, look at that curve on it. Look at that curve. Come on, focus. Look at that curve. Look at the underside. Got some fingerprints on it from me now. There. And the nice thing is, is that um, my desk is looking quite nice, but I've also just bought a Japanese piece lately, so that'll be nice. Oh, everybody's just suddenly popped up. So Midders is here. Hello, Midders. How you doing? Um, yeah, you've missed it all. You've missed the whole build. Uh, but luckily for you, I, I do have a YouTube channel that this uh, the stream will be going on to. Uh, and uh, Glove is here as well. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, you do need an amp board at some point. So, 
so just gonna make sure these sound all good. Exactly, Darth. Darth is exactly right. I mean, this is this is Alps board number two, and probably Alps build number five. Well, if you can, if you can't SK, SMK, but yeah, that's counting SMK. Yeah, this is sounding excellent. So, uh, let me just um, stop the music. Okay. And we're going to drag this on down. So we're going to get it as close to the board as possible. So this is what? About that much? About a foot? Maybe? It's probably quite loud as I'm talking into it now. I'm sorry if I'm killing your ears. So um, I'm not going to plug it in because uh, I haven't got the right cable out at the moment. But I'm going to do some testing in a little bit. But let's do a little bit of a sound test for it. So here we go. Think guys, that sounds beautiful to me. I mean, they're beautiful, free, free-flowing switches at this point. I did type a whole lot of stuff, so if you guys were paying attention, you'd have been able to read what I was typing. But watch it back when it comes time. <laughs> But no, these are sounding excellent. These are really sounding excellent. This, this is sounding much, much smoother than um, I imagined it would do after putting lube in there. I didn't think lube was going to make that much of a difference, but you can hear, you can hear it gets a little bit loose on one side. But same with the. No, so the the ISO enter no no sound difference whatsoever now. It was clattering away at this end, and then it would quieten down at the other end. But so these one these switches are incredibly smooth. Um, I was saying to Jay, uh, and he didn't seem to believe me, that these are the smoothest switches that I've ever tried. Um, Sam has tried them; they are incredibly smooth. But these are um, there is only four other switches that I had. Um, I've got a bag filled. This is a bag of the rejected switches that didn't quite make it. And I mean, when they didn't make it, I was, I'm was i meaning some were scratchy, yeah. um, some were tiny amounts worse, uh, but they didn't make it. And so luckily for me, I had four extra switches for this build, but these are incredibly smooth. Uh, smoother than Novel Key Cream, smoother than Ink, smoother than Telios. Uh, yes, yes, they are. They are the NOS um, SKCLs. So if you were to watch at the very beginning again, I can actually show you, in fact. So let's put this microphone back up here. So if you look here, when I mean they're NOS, I mean as in never been sold before. Um, not NOS as in they've come from a uh, a, a board that hasn't been used that's in its plastic it's a uh, uh, desoldered from there I mean DOS is in perfectly brand new um, so the only things that I have actually done to them is I've um, dry lubed them um, I've added some muck off dry lube to them um, which was just a small amount uh, just to cover the actual stems and the, um, the rails on the top housings um, and the only extra that's going to go into this is I've got some 65 centinewton spritz springs. I don't know if, if you might be able to hear it. Uh, not so much on that one. I'm 
not so much on that one either. One of these will have it. Uh, okay, all four of them don't have it. There's a couple that have horrid sanding springs. I mean, hor really horrid sanding springs. I'll see if I can get it to, so you guys can hear it. No. There we go. So, I don't need to be able to. This is a scratchier, so take 50% of the scratchiness away from this. So. don't know if you guys can hear that at all. There's a horrid spring noise. It's like a ting, 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 ting sort of sound. Yeah, I mean, so um, the test that I did um, uh, was, yes, 100%. Uh, so th th this is better than they were. So what I've done to these is, um, I'll, I'm just going to put them in here so that I don't end up throwing them together. So I lubed the... I loop the springs in drop off my lube. Uh, drop, 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 muck off dry lube. There we go, get it eventually. Um, so I uh, put the springs and the stems into a bag, a bag loop them. It helped a little bit, but not that much uh, in comparison to um, doing it with other springs. Uh, but I had some sprit, uh, a couple of sprit 65 centinewton springs. Um, from what actually Shish gave me uh, back in the day. Um, Shish gave me some um, spare springs that he had. And so I put them in there. Sand is completely gone. There's no ping whatsoever. Um, his, springs are, his springs are much, much better in comparison to the stock springs um, in the ones in the board here. Um, I have uh, 85 centinewton um, sprit springs in there and it m really makes a difference. But then again, I would still lube them because they get better with a little bit of lube. Um, but yeah, I mean, this board is exceptional. I love the color of it. The feel is great. Yeah. So obviously I'm going to have to take all of the keycaps off of this. Um, probably next week when they turn up. Um, so I bought the springs from Keyboard Co. They've got quite a lot in stock still. Um, they've got a bunch of 65 centinewton ones. There was five, five plus in stock at the time. Um, but some of the other weights, they've only got one or two in stock. So I'd go buy them as soon as possible if you are looking for them. But they are, they, they really do make a, a decent size difference. Uh, plus the fact that you can get to a better weight. I mean, these for me are too light. I'm not, I'm used to, these are BK heavies. These all here are 70, 70 grams and above, so they're all quite a lot heavier. Um, so, but um, that's going to conclude my stream for now, guys. Um, I am going to sign off, uh, but I hope that you enjoyed the stream so far, um, and I hope that uh, you found it interesting at the very least. And if you do want to buy the um, the board, um, I'm going to get the my keyboards discord here can i send the discord invite i'm gonna invite people okay so if you want to join it join the my keyboards discord so that's their discord link there and you'll find a channel that says borsdorf um, and in there you'll find a bunch of guys interested in the borsdorf but you'll also find salvam and darth uh, who are in there, uh, the makers of the board, and you can discuss it with them, but they're going to be giving updates on when it's going to be coming around. Unfortunately, Darth, I can't allow you to post links. Um, uh, it times you out, and it's the bot. Um, but if you want to send me a message, I'll send you a message on Discord now. Um, here you go. I'll send you a message on Discord. Just send it through there, and I'll post the, um, I'll post the link. Cool. that's perfect thank you so this is the geek hat thread for it as well so go over and have a check check it out uh, but this is the, uh, the this will be the board and uh, you never know I'll, I'll probably have some photos for them so they could have some 
some pictures of this board as well so that they can uh, do all of that but looking at the photos that he's got there the um, the, the caps that he they have they're much much thicker on the legend so that's what I'm going to try and get with these so but either way um, if you are interested go follow those two links and you'll get updated um, it's going to be going on uh, on group by uh, at the beginning of next year isn't it Darth? Um, uh, I believe it is I think that's what the chat was um, so if you're interested check it out uh, keep up to date and um, and buy one of these I mean the, this one was extremely good value and um, uh, any ideas on the price that you're thinking or is that still up in the air at the moment Darth? I don't want to put you too much on the spot so you, you don't have to worry if I'm if not no not yet okay so, but well, my, my one was a uh, pretty decent value uh, and the, I'm expecting that it's probably going to be pretty decent value still uh, and obviously AEK cap you, you can get them pretty easily um, there's lots of apps so but either way guys um, I'm going to sign off now but uh, I hope you've all enjoyed uh, please do hit the follow button uh, I'm always about on on the discord channel so if you've got any questions ping, uh, ping me a message uh, I do build services uh, switch lubing services and stuff like that so but I'm always there if you just need to ask some questions anyway so cool cool I'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching guys bye